Good morning, good morning, good morning, my beautiful Virgos. Happy Sunday, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. <clears throat> well, hey, I love you guys. How are y'all feeling on this beautiful Sunday? How are y'all feeling on this beautiful Sunday? Whoo, what a what a last three days it has been. Um <sighs> I'm just, I'm, I'm so grateful and I'm so thankful, Virgo. Um, I'm just in awe. A lot of you that has um, not seen my video of me being transparent, please check it out. But when I tell you, some of you just take the time and read some of the testimonies. Read the comments. Just take some time when you got downtime drinking your coffee or something read the read the the oh my goodness Whew. when i tell y'all the testimonies the encouraging words the generosity virgo that y'all gave me when y'all came through y'all came through for me cross watchers new viewers you came through you came for me but the testimonies, my God, my God, my God. Whew. My goodness. The transparency. The loving and encouraging words. The pouring out of love. I asked God before I made that video. I said, God, I said, Spirit God's team, please send the right people in my path. Please see, send the right people that's going to receive this. Please send your angels. And he sent every last one of y'all, my angels. Y'all came through for me. I love y'all guys. And not what you, what you distribute, but just your pouring out your heart. You're, you're just showing me the love and how you appreciate it. Y'all, I can't even, let me tell you something. I, I, I got, I tried my best, Virgo, to keep up with the comments and replying. I couldn't. It was just, it's just so many. So please, whoever you are, whoever you are, if I did not respond to you, please don't charge it to my heart. Because it was so many responses and and so many comments that I try my best to get to every last one of you. But believe me, whatever you wrote, whatever you was transparent about, whatever that you sent of encouraging words, that I ask God, my higher source, I ask to send a, a blessing to you that will blow your mind. I love you guys. I, get, I, I just... I just, um, let, I know, I know, I know. Y'all know me. I, I'm emotional. I get, I'm sensitive, honey. But let's see. Let's see what's going on, Virgo. I love you guys. Whew. Let's see. <clears throat> abundance. Fear. No more fear. Abundance. No more fear. Abundance. Love. Love. Look at that. No fear. Abundance. Is in your energy. <clears throat> Spirit, guys, this is for Virgo. I love you guys. From all ends of the world, your strength, courageous, y'all are very strong, very powerful. I mean, I'm sending a big, big shout out to all of you from around the world, north, south, east, or west. I love you and thank you so much. Thank you all so much for your encouraging words and your and your blessings and your, and your transparency and your mm, courages. I find the inner shift to face fear with confidence. A lot, of, a lot of courage, a lot of strength you have, Virgo. Humor. Finally, you know, seeing the light. See, seeing the lighter, lighter. What did it say? I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. You know, even, even if you're going through something, just... Just try to just try to smile and try to look at life. You know, in other words, don't don't sweat the small stuff, Virgo. Spirit guides, whoever your higher source is saying, do not sweat the small stuff. Continue to stand in your strength, and do not sweat 
the the small stuff. Do not allow the negative energy or things that is not of an importance to be in your energy. Spirit guys want you to look at life because life is too short. We're living in the world. Life is too short to be concentrating on the small stuff. Yeah, that part. I love you guys. Gratitude. My goodness. Look at the bottom of the deck. Happiness and gratitude. We already know that. We already know that. We already know that. Death card is here. Guilty is in the reverse. We already know that. We know that already. Okay? Grateful. Virgo, y'all very grateful and thankful. Spirit guys said, just be grateful. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it present. Being grateful, being thankful. Seeing, <clears throat> seeing life. On the, just, just, just concentrate on the lighter stuff. You know, don't, don't dwell on petty things. You know, the lighter side of life, what matters to you. Even going outside to smell the, the, the air. You know, happiness. Death is here. A lot of you are going through a major transformation. Out with the old, in with the new. I, I'm, I'm, I'm over. <clears throat> You're done with the death. You're done with. You know, sweating the small stuff. You thinking about your happiness. You thinking about creating your own life. You thinking about what it is. <coughs> excuse me, what you want in your life. <coughs> and finally, yet you're at a point in time in your life where you're not feeling guilty. That one point in time you were feeling guilty about things. I release, I release any beliefs that no longer assist me in my soul grow. Now you don't feel guilty because it's like, look, I don't, I don't came too far. I don't, I don't been, I don't been through a lot. I, I, I just done, I just so much has happened in my life that I've learned to stop allowing certain situations to rent space in my head. I'm seeing the lighter side of life. I'm not sweating the small stuff anymore. I'm not going to allow anyone to alter my mood, if I may say. Yeah. You're focusing on the lighter side of life. Abundance. When you focus on the lighter side of life and you're not taking life for granted and you're trying to live life as the fullness of happiness... That's when you start to attract abundance in your life. <clears throat> you understand? And it says, I attract abundance into my life each day from all possibilities in all directions. That means from all ends of the earth. That means that you are attracting the, the energy. You're attracting the vibration that you're on. And that's like you're creating your own happiness. It's like, I'm not sweating the small stuff anymore. And you're focused on your abundance. Yeah, you're letting go of attachments. You're letting go of negative energy. You're not focusing on, you're not focusing on sweating the small stuff. Because it's like Miss Positive Thoughts of Energy. I got way bigger fish to think about than to think about people and their pettiness. To think about people and their immatureness, to think about people with their childish self, to think about people that are very dysfunctional, or think about people that, 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 that think that they're whatever their thoughts is. I have to let go of those attachments. It says, I will no longer hold attachments. I will allow myself, the universe and ascended master to work in harmony on all my heart's desire. I am letting go of those petty, of those, those situations that I have allowed myself to be in. And I'm letting those things go because I have to start focusing on the lighter side of life. Oh, 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 what's what matters to me the most what is important to me the most what I value the most and when I allow when I stop allowing people or situations to alter my life then that's when I begin to come become into my higher form of myself <clears throat> I've gained clarity I've gained clarity on that. I have, I've, I have, I've saw the light. I have saw the truth that when I, 
stay in stay in the in the energy of not a letting small sweating of small stuff arguing about small stuff arguing about petty stuff with your spouse or whatever it's like look life is way more valuable than us arguing about some petty little things that we can be gone tomorrow and wish that we would have never said or done those things you've gained and also it's like faith you have faith 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 it's all about faith in yourself and it says, I have faith in myself and the universe that together we will orchestrate and man manifest my heart's desire. Having faith, abundance, attachment, clarity, and faith. All four of those cards. <clears throat> Along with your strength, your power, you, you, you create it. You, you, most of all, let's say this. Most of all, Virgo, it is your gratitude. Stay with me, everyone. Stay with me to, to everyone. Please take what resonate, reverse the roadside and fit in your life. I, I, I just I just feel the spirit on me. I honestly feel the spirit. The spirit is all on me right now. That lets me know that I'm touching somebody right now through the words that I am saying. I absolutely love you guys. And one more one thing I can say is when you're grateful and thankful, grateful and thankful for how far you come and what you have let go of, you begin to uh, level up in, 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 in frequencies and you begin to start to create, create two different decks, create your own happiness. And this card says, I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right track. When you're happy, baby, you're going, you're going somewhere. When you're in a happy place, you're headed in the right direction. When you, when you, when you happy within your own self, you're headed in the right direction. Because if you can't be happy, if you can't be fulfilled within yourself, nothing that comes towards you is going to do that for you. It first must come within yourself. It must show up and be <clears throat> in your own self. <clears throat> Excuse me. But not concentrating or not sweating the small stuff. Because the small stuff will make you, the small stuff will take you out of the alignment of where God or whoever your higher source wants you to be. So you've gained a lot of clarity. You say, I'm no longer going to feel guilty about this. Whatever, whatever you used to feel guilty about, I feel like a lot of you are saying, I'm no longer going to feel guilty about the decisions that I have made for my own life, about the decisions that I have made to create my own happiness. I no longer will feel guilty about who I have cut off or who I have decided to let go uh, to not come with me because everyone can't come with me because their attachments to me is not healthy for me. Their attachments that they had for, to, uh, on me was not healthy for me. So I am not going to feel guilty for that. Okay. Yeah. Guilty. You throw it out the door. It came out in reverse. You gain clarity. I will not feel guilty about who cannot come with me. I have faith in God or my universe or whoever my higher source is. I have faith that where I am going, I am going towards what makes me happy. Finally, I'm going towards what makes me happy and not trying to make someone else happy. I am going to create and I am going to do a, I'm going to create a vision board of my life because I want to be happy. It's all about me being happy. It's all about me seeing the lighter side of life. It's all about me not taking uh, you know, not not dealing with petty petty things that 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 does not mean anything to me. So, in order to not deal with the petty things, or not in order to not deal with people with their dif dysfunctional or petty selves, that means I have to remove myself from that energy because that energy I I, I have been through too much that I I, I I'm not going to set and take life for granted. So there were therefore there comes the gratitude. <clears throat> 
There comes the thankful and the gratefulness. There comes the faith that I'm going to be all right because I am creating something different for myself and I'm not feeling guilty about it. I'm not going to feel bit guilty about it. I'm not going to feel guilty about who I had to let go and who no longer can come with me. I'm not feeling guilty whatsoever. I am walking into my abundance. I am going towards my happiness and my abundance. And is that is that. I am stepping out. I am courageous. I am strong. And I am going to move forward. If you cannot, if you cannot be on that same level with me, then you cannot go with me. It's over. It's done. I am done with the dysfunction. I'm done with the toxicity. I am done with the pettiness. I have no energy for that. My energy is going towards myself. My energy is going towards what I want to create in my life. And that means if I have to be alone, I'm just going to be alone until the, the to the like-minded people that I am supposed to be with or the person I'm supposed to be with that's going to come into my life and we're going to be fulfilled. fulfilled with one another now I feel as though that with this uh, seeing the lighter side of life uh, and not sweating the small stuff anymore makes you realize that because of what you have been through and it's like some of you near death some of you almost experienced death. Some of you have experienced a lot of real, 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 real experiences, real things in your life. And it's like, listen, I don't got time for that. Okay. Your spirit guys, this for Virgo. So, you know, you, you, you learn it to, you learn it to have humor and lighten up and, you know, smile and, and, and be grateful and thankful. Spirit guys, show me the silver lining. You know, looking at the silver lining of your life. Of your life. Nobody wants to put up with petty nonsense things. You've been through too much. You have a, you had to fight a lot of battles. You don't have time for that. Thank you, Spirit. <clears throat> yeah, you're going towards your success. Options, success. My beautiful Virgos. Spirit guys, send me more for Virgo. Yeah. <clears throat> Seven of Wands here in the reverse. You're not, it's like you're free. Okay? You're free. It's like you're free. When I see this intuitively, it's like you're free. Uh, you're not defensive. It's like I'm ready to live my life. I'm free. I'm, 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 I'm free from all of the toxicity, all of the... Uh, the things that I used to engage in, it's like I'm no longer defensive. This is what I want. This is what I want. I want success. I want it. I want to be happy. Okay? You're not blocking yourself. You see what I'm saying? You're not blocking yourself. You want to be happy. You want these things because you know you are deserving of it, Virgo. You know that. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, you're thinking about your future. Definitely your future. Definitely thinking about your future. What makes you happy, Empress? Empress, death card again twice. Death card again twice. Oh, yeah, you slayed those demons. You slayed them, baby. Out with the old. Yeah, you went through a lot of pain that you was not happy at all. You see that? Not happy at all. You went through a lot. But you're in the Empress energy, sweetheart. Which way, spirit? Okay. Been, you've been, you know, you've been, you've been in your head, okay, you thought about, you've thought about a lot, you know, you've been stuck, but you released it, you were stuck in your head, but you finally released it, Virgo, you finally released, you say, you know what, huh. life, life, I'm not taking it for granted anymore, I gotta release what is not for me, I gotta release that is not healthy for me. The devil card here in the reverse, releasing, releasing uh, old energy, yeah, immature energy, you know, all those energies that, you know, does not deserve to have your, to be in your head, you know, you're focused on, look, your money, king of pentacles, your money, bam, new chapter, new chapter, new chapter, sweetheart, sir, yeah, you said I'm done with the negative energy. I'm done with it with the five of swords in the reverse. I'm done with the negative energy. 
Yeah, I'm thinking about this is a new chapter of stability. Of stability. New chapter, new beginning for you, Virgo. Thank you, Spirit. Yep, look at that star card. Look at here. You done healed. You healed. You ready for a new chapter in your life. You're ready, Queen of Pentacles. You have persevered. You released. You released the, You released this. You did a lot of sewing in your... You should be proud of yourself, Virgo. My goodness. You should be proud of yourself, honey. Mm, that card is all messed up in there. Yep, you should be proud of yourself, Virgo. Give me more spirit for Virgo. Thank you. Yep, justice. Look at that. A lot of you moving away from rough waters. You say, you know what? I got to go. I, I got to go. I got to do me. I got to go towards my own happiness. I got to go towards my abundance. I got to move. I got to go. A lot of you left, you ended, you, you said, I don't, I don't have time. Life is too short. Life is too short. Life is too short. Some of you moving to calmer waters. Look here. Calmer waters to a, a soulmate, okay? Some of you moving straight towards a soulmate that got a lot to offer you. Watching you. But uh, you said, I got to go. Life is too short. Life is too short. Emperor, here come your divine counterpart. Empress. Where you at, Empress. Here go your divine counterpart. Some of you get ready. Yo, yo, divine counterpart getting ready to show up. Soulmate, you getting ready to show up. Some of you moving right out of the when you leave out of this toxic situation, you're gonna go, you're gonna run right into your divine counterpart. Divine counterpart. <laughs> right there. Mm-hmm. Yep, right there. And it's he's rushing in. She's rushing in. Yep, look at this person. You might have been, Virgo, you might have been single for a long time. The hermit is gaining a lot of wisdom, a lot of knowledge. But the hermit card is there a lot of wisdom. I feel like a lot of you probably been single for some time, okay? I want to say, uh, spirit guys lay on my heart. Some of you, nine years, one to nine years. But I feel like you're going to follow your heart with this person. or the, You know, but you did a lot of work on yourself. This person is rushing. This person could have been single. Could have been uh, in hermit mode for nine years. Spirit guys is giving me nine years with this card. But this is your that divine counterpart. Look at here. I don't know who you are, but baby, get ready. And I'm not trying to feed your Delulu, baby. This is reality. You got to believe it. You got to know that it's coming. You got to know, Empress, Emperor. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That part right there. Abundance, happiness. I want you to put happiness. I want you to put green hearts in the comments. Happiness, happiness. That's what you want. Abundance, happiness. I want you to. I want you to flood my comments with green, with happiness, green, and you know you want love or red. Okay, it don't matter. Yeah, you can ready to find out who it is. They're coming. They're coming. Whoever he is, whoever she is, baby, they're flying. They, they're coming to you, Virgo. This person's coming to you. Your divine counterpart is on his way. Yeah. Your divine counterpart, if this is not you that moved away from a rough water, this person that moved away from a, a rough water, maybe from a toxic situation, okay? And they are they have been in hermit mode, so that means they must have been single for a while. And your divine counterpart on this way. And when I say that, yeah, he walked away, he or she walked away from somebody. Like I say, everybody, reverse the roles. I don't know your life. You're going to have to reverse the roles how they fit in your life, okay? I'm just tapping into your life. So you're going to have to reverse the roles. Yeah, this person walked away from somebody, okay? They walked away from somebody. They moved away from them, or this is you. It doesn't matter. Could have walked away, from, uh, moved away from a Cancer Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But this person has done some healing, okay? Okay, been in Virgos. Yeah, they got to make a, this person is definitely uh, thinking about uh, I don't know what what the world they're thinking about. They're regretting something. This person regretting. This could have been somebody that walked away from you and they regret that they did and they're coming back. They realize you are their divine counterpart. Look at here. They in overdrive. I mean, when I tell you overdrive, what they're thinking, they mentally are, they mentally, yeah, they're coming. He or she, when I say they, y'all, he or she is coming. They, this person is coming, Virgo. My goodness. Oh, y'all are destined. Here they come. Look at that. Look at that. So this is a new person. Have done it. Could have slayed the dark night of soul. This could be somebody that you had history with. Or this is someone that you had past life connection with. Okay. So this could mean something for a little bit of all of y'all. But I don't feel a, a energy of, of, 
I feel like this is, I, I don't feel the energy of an ex. I feel the energy of this is someone that's coming towards you that had to slay their demons and that they had to let go of somebody. But they regretting for some reason. Maybe you know this person, um, but I don't feel like it was anything serious. With, with the Six of Cups out here, you may have some history. Or maybe y'all talked on the phone or whatever some years ago or some, you know, and this person chose somebody else some years ago. Maybe six years ago you might have known this person. Uh, something, maybe I'll talk, but nothing got serious. And this person, that's because they made a choice to go towards the other person and they realize that you are their destiny, but they had to slay a lot of devils first. Okay, a lot of demons, I want to say. Uh, they had to do some healing. So you can reverse the roles. I don't know y'all's life, but this person, y'all, this is, yeah, here to come with communication. A lot of communication. King of Swords, baby. A lot of communication. This could be your ex. This could be somebody you talked to years, years ago. Okay, that's for a very small percentage of you. Other than that, the world card came out here, so it definitely is a new, a new energy. That means that this person is a little guarded because they don't know what you're going to do, what you're going to say. Um, but um, like I say, reverse the roles, okay? Reverse the roles. Yeah, see? See this person? You got the four of pentacles and you got the six of pentacles. Okay, so that tells me that this person... Uh, may have breadcrumbed you in the past, okay? Like I said, back in, 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 years ago, you could have talked to this person. This person this person went towards a karmic, went towards someone toxic, and now they finally get, have gotten out of that and they've healed, and they're coming towards you. Or, like I say, this could mean different for everybody. So, yeah, let's get a confirmation here. Let's get a confirmation. Let me get a confirmation and I'll be out your ways. Confirmation for Virgo with this reading. Spirit guys, confirmation. You want this one? Yeah, they did. They done healed. This person done healed. Look at that. They done healed. They have done they they done the healing. They coming. They, I, when I tell you, somebody get ready to show up in your life very soon. In a matter of days for some of y'all. Now remember everybody, everybody's on different timelines. This has happened already for some of y'all. This is about to happen for some of y'all, or this is uh, this is coming in the near future, okay? So uh yeah, just remember that, okay? Yeah, they're recovering. They're recovering. They're recovering. Yeah, this person went through a lot. Whoever this person was, homeless and everything else, they went through a lot. But honey, they coming with the ace of pentacles. Oh yeah, they went through a lot. I'm trying to get this these cards that fell down. The ace of pentacles. See, they oh yeah. Starting from the bottom, now they at the top. So they coming in. I don't know who you are, but they on their way. Any other message spirit for Virgo? I love you guys. Thank y'all so much. Remember, in my readings, there are blessings, lessons, and confirmations in all my readings. Happy Sunday. I hope everyone have a beautiful day. Yeah, you manifested this. You manifest somebody's returning. Yeah, you manifested this. Look at that. Until next time.